Okay, part two of the walk around. Car's got the top down, engine's off. I'll point out some of the uh, details on the car and some of the uh, things wrong with it. I um, guess we can start with the motor, a quick little walk around here. So as I mentioned, this is a 63 and a half R code, which means it's a 427 with dual four barrel carburetors. Detailed in the photo album, so if you want to see the part numbers on there, um, we'll uh, check there. Um, exhaust manifolds are date coded C3, 1963. Uh, they're the original manifolds. Um, some stuff that you notice we did, like, you know, new battery, some stuff to spruce the car up. Um, you know, we flushed all the fluids and made it so the cars, uh, from their original found condition, that they would run. And as you can see, I'm driving the car around and it stops and it goes and it does all the things you'd expect it to do. It doesn't mean it's perfect, but it means it's roadworthy and, and all that. Um, another important thing to look at here is some date stampings. Um, this here, it's upside down, I guess, for you, but R, you know, R code is part of the uh, VIN number. Um, car is largely original paint. Uh, there's some areas that we think might have been touched up, but as you can see, there's checking in the paint here. That's you know indicative of a old school single stage paint job failing. Um, so the car. It's got a, you know, it looks great from afar, but I guess it's, it's obviously not perfect. Hubcaps, all the body trim, everything looks great. Uh, interior, complete, needs some love. Uh, the vinyl seats have dried out and ripped um, So this bench neither needs to be recovered Or replaced I guess back seat looks beautiful. No rips or tears here um, It's actually even got the original like Sticker here of it being a prismatic mirror so you can flip it day Night pretty cool. It's kind of amazing that that's managed to stay there um steering wheel's got some cracks in it gauges work uh except for the temp gauge so that's nice shows fifty-two thousand four hundred and six miles the time of recording this um as i displayed earlier this uh, uh the power top works three pedals it's a four speed um pretty cool uh, like I mentioned before, too, we replaced the white vinyl or the white top, the convertible top, but all of the other stuff, the mechanics are all original. You can see there's date codes on them C3, again, 1963, that's what that indicates. Um, it's been cleaned up. The carpet's got some, you know, stains in it uh, from like sun bleaching, how it's lighter there, but again, it's a field find. It's the way we found it as it is. Um, door panels are chrome is missing here a little bit it's failing there but it's you know replace some door panels and uh, seat cu cushion and uh, the cover there and you have a really nice interior um, again more trim here it's all complete you can see kind of a, a funky spot there more checking and paint problems here from the original paint failing uh, as you heard when it was idling it's the original exhaust it's very quiet um oh we replaced the fuel tank it's a fresh fuel tank for this car um but yeah pop open the trunk
that sucks doing this one handed. Here we go. All right. Spare tire, the uh, convertible top cover, the original convertible top cover in there, red, pretty cool. So, and here's where it gets pretty cool. Here's a, this was obviously somebody's baby. Um, this is, well, I guess it was Terry Woods' baby. He had these made up for the car shows and uh, kind of display what's special about the car. Um, so, 51,000 original miles. As you can see, since whenever this was made, the car's only done about 15, 1,600 miles. Um, it's one of 411 convertibles, 1963, with the 427 engine. Uh, here is the documentation for that, which will be in the photo section as well. Um, from Ford, Ford marketing letterhead. Here's the original invoice and uh, window sticker for the car. And you know, here's just some more tidbits of information about the car. More or less just about the motor it's, itself. Um, car originally titled in Ohio, uh, the previous owner before got it from Texas and then we got it in Colorado um, original old tail lights here all right this side same deal all the trim pieces are complete uh, and in great shape hubcaps uh, again no rot or any anything to be concerned about there's some surface rust on stuff um, but Again, a very, very solid, nice car. Uh, spent most of its life in Texas and in uh, the high desert in Colorado. So, nice dry climate. Mirrors on this side. This door panel is a little nicer than the other one, but still it's got some flaking chrome here. Um, and all the windows work here on this one as well. Windows roll up and down. Same thing with the rear. Or does it? Wait like that. So yeah, super original, clean example with some caveats, but a nice car start with if you want to restore it or a really cool cruiser with a really really tall antenna look at that thing oh boy um, this is probably the biggest boo-boo on the car the most obvious one 